times like these. We have no words. We have only each other. I'm too early. In times like these, we have no words. We have only each other. Today, we come together to mourn the passing of Emily Dietz, devoted wife to Charles, beloved mother to Lydia. Scripture tells us, sorrow not, for we do not walk alone. You're invisible when you're sad. Clock ticks and zones still ring. The world carries on like mad. But nobody sees a thing Whispering behind their hands Lost for kind words to say Nobody understands And everyone goes away Grown-ups want to fix things when they can And only fills them with shame So they just look away As if being greedy to need somebody to see me And say my name Seems when you lose your mom no one turns off the sun Folks carry on, that's that You're invisible when you're sad Holy crap, a ballad already! It's such a bold departure from the original source material! Hey folks, begging your pardon! Excuse me, sorry to barge in! Now let's skip the tears and start on the whole! Being dead thing, you are doomed! Enjoy the singing! The sword of Damocles is swinging! And if I hear your cell phone ringing, I'll kill you myself! The whole being dead thing! Death to get a person's grass! We should've carpeted way more demons, now we're never gonna see him! I can show you what comes next, so don't be freaked! Stay in your seats! I do this bullshit like eight times a week! So just relax, you'll be fine, drink your fifty dollar one and take a breath! <gasps> Welcome to a show about death! Yeah, you're gonna be fine to the other side. Die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Ah, I'll be your guy to the other side. Don't pull the skill, you're at the show about this. Everybody gets on fine here, like Roger's heart and Hammerstein here. The woods bathroom has no line here, just here you want the whole being dead there. You're just gonna love the folks here. Yeah, I know you're woke, but you take a joke here. And every show I do, like a ton of coke here, the whole. The whole being dead thing. Nobody is bulletproof. I work out. I eat clean. Jews have to dream me. Time to face the brutal truth. Cause we're on a hit list. My life is Christmas. Chosen doesn't trust kids. Hey, let's just assist Let's take a little break here. Kinda like a wake here. The season is fake here. But there's a giant snake here. Welcome to a show about death. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Thank you. On the other side. How you doing? Not good. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, I'll be your guy to the other side. Seriously, don't do the show about death, it's taboo, but it's hard with something new, there's nothing medical professionals can do, so maybe just tell you. There's no destiny or fate, just a terrifying way full of people that you hate on uncertain days, the universe kills you. That's the thing with life, no one makes it out alive. Toss that body in a fish, cause off a dirty charge, fall blind by just a magic. When you're dead, who gives a shit? No Pilates, no more yoga, no more you for composers. From the cradle to cremation, that just needs a little conversation. I have mastered the art. I'm tearing convention apart. So how about we all make a start on the be and death day. God, I hope you're ready for a show about death. And Beetlejuice is like, I'm invisible. I'm powerless. I'm just a dead guy stuck in the world of living with no one to share it with. I just want someone, anyone to look my way and say, hey, I feel you. I see you. I fear for my safety around you. Then I, I got a plan. I found me, Beetlejuice. I have found a way to make everyone see me. And it doesn't include all these umbrella guys here. I am going to make everyone see me. You see that little house over there. This little house. The people that are in there, they're about to die. And they're going to be my new best friends. We are, we are, we're gonna move into the house right now. Adam and, and Barbara Maitland, woo! But look at the script. In all of its glorious antiquity, every curve and surface speaks to me. The new power and poor lines and you know when we come on. I know it's the untrained eye, it's boring, but the thing a chore when you're restoring. Apart from rotation, pain, and financial drain, it's fun. 
folks say Adam, why do you post your kid when you don't have a kid? And even if you did have a kid, the group is depression for placing a baby inside. So simply says to remind you, since depression is a person that you're not better to have kids. Adam, why don't you live? Adam, just make a start. Are you willing to take the next step? Ready, set. Ready, set. Look at these guys. Amazingly glazed and terrorist cottery. I took them away and made you pottery. The world will never wreck you. I'll protect you in a mother's embrace. Folks say, Barbara, why can't you see this round? It's simply a of motherly panic by making me wreck you. Are you creating the translating terror of making my children to play? Having wasted none of your time. Barbara, that's what you've done. Barbara, just make a start. Are you willing to take the next step? Run that. Here we stand at the end of a 10 year plan. A house, a yard, a minivan, a baby should be next. Together, let's leap off the cliff. Fall forever and smash to this. Trap in here, a flying viper pit. Pipers and regret. Oh, take the next nice step. Ready, set. Ready, set. Ready, set. Not, not yet, yet, not yet. Why rush? Why rush? Soon, Soon enough, our hopes and our dreams will be crushed. But not yet, not yet, not now, not now. Ooh. No. We can't start a family. The house is creepy, floor, but you are absolutely right. Let's add it to the list with the cracks and the plaster. The wife should be faster. This open needs a caster. The bathroom doesn't What about global poverty? What about world peace? And there's a whole darn economy. The whole Middle East. We should learn Mandarin. Yeah, or Spanish. Shall we? No, I will ask for you. Don't be so smart, but more. And that's all we got. And that's not a lot. Do we want a bilingual household or not? So let's go slow. No breaking the sweat. What's the point of having children if we're drowning in debt? No, we're totally completely. Maybe 80%. Is it 78? Ready to take the next step? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next step. I wasn't kidding, it's a show about death. Beetlejuice watch this. Beetlejuice wish watch these people die. And alright, here's the plan. I can't make the living say my name, but these newly dead will. But first, I must toss the rule book. And you are wondering where the rule book is. It's right here. It's, it's coming out of the sky. I present to you. The Handbook for the Recently Deceased, Chapter 1, The Netherworld. All ghosts should proceed directly to the Netherworld. No, we're not going to do that. I need to keep these lovebirds here with me to haunt their house! But we must... Ah, uh, ah, uh, I think they're... I think they're, um... I'm gonna burn this book. Please wait for me. I think they're coming back to life. Okay, and then Adam and Barbara, they're crawling back from the pit they fell into. And Adam's like... A fall from that height could have been bad. My whole life flashed before my eyes. I started asking myself the real questions like, Why are our bodies still in the basement? And Barbara's like, I don't think we survived. Okay, it might not be too bad. We might be dead, but we're still in our home. Nothing has to change. And then Beetle's just like, hi. And they're like, ah! Ah! Hold on. Ah! And Beetle just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some help here. And you know what help is? Help is cheerleaders. And help is a, um, a marching band. Hi, I'll be your guide. I'll be your GYD to the other side. Don't go to the netherworld. Netherworld, just say netherworld. Never mind. I'm leaving you to the just like I can spell. Hi, he'll be your guide. He'll be your GYD to the other side. Let's all get naked. No, it works a charm. I'm the B to the W U D L U U T. What's happening? I'm sorry, it's lots of process, but the good news is you and your spouse died in your own house. Yes, if you pop, that means the two of you should stick around. Lucky for you, I drop by. Yeah, you seem like dice. Got a little on the pottery barn and drive my white side. As for me, I've been scaring for millennia. I'm the bio exorcist, giving houses animals to push out all the breeze. You breeze, you scoot me. I'll be like ghost zombie Jesus. Ghost zombie Jesus, and I do it for the love of it. Money, I don't give a shit. I think we're perfect. Come on, let's make it out of it. It's a perfect day to die, cause this guy happened to be passing by to give you control of your soul for the whole being dead thing. The whole being dead thing. Woo! Oh, yeah! And Adam, he's like, who are you? Oh yeah, everyone leaves now. You know, the cheerleaders are gone. The marching band left too. I finished my song, so the marching band is gone. And Adam is like, who, who are you? And, and Beetlejuice is like, a Adam, you don't remember me? It's your father, Adam. And, and Adam is like, the, dad? Is that you, Dad? And then he gets so close to Beetlejuice that Beetlejuice pulls him in for Among Us Kiss. And then he's like, ah! ah! And then Beetlejuice is like, you are adorable. And you're going to have to hire me to help you scare. And they're like, scare who? And the people who bought your house. Bought our house? But we just died. Time moves differently when you're dead, but boy, does it move. And then workers come in, they take everything, they take the crib. So this crib is gone. 
bad crib. And then Adam's like, no, don't take my crib. Where, where are they going? And and they're like, oh, they can't see us. And Bill's just like, because you're dead. The living can't interact with the dead. They're too self-centered. They're gonna, they're doing all our stuff away. And he's like, that's why you need my help. Please, please hire me. Please hire me. Please hire me. Like, fine. You're hired. And then Beetlejuice has a, another moment where he's singing, but there's someone on the album. So he's like, great choice. You won't regret it. You want your house back? Let's get it. Victory is within your reach. You've just been waiting for the perfect teacher. Being dead has its perks. Dump it at the time. Let's get rid of these jerks. But I want to just have a going to feel of what worked for the whole the end dead thing. And now, now get in the attic. So they go into the attic. They're all running to the attic. Pretend that's like their stairs. They're all going to the attic. And they went to the attic. And then this hot, beautiful bimbo walks in. Delia. And she's like, mm, yes, there's very good energy in here. And then dad comes in. Like, I'm glad you like it. I took a big risk buying this house. Can you believe people lived here? It looks like a retirement home for old people who sad cats. And she's like, don't worry, Charles. If we make it look fabulous, no one will know it's actually crushingly insecure and older than it says it is. And he's like, good. We only have two days to turn this into the flagship home for my gaming community. We just have to convince Maxie Dean. And Charles, you are under so much stress. You must relax. Now you remember what my guru also said. Every success begins with socks, but ends in yes. Socks, yes. And then uh, he's like, oh my god, you erotic acrobat. And they, they among us kiss on the table. You're among us kissing. And he's like, no, we have to stop. What if Lydia walks in? Charles, maybe it's time to tell her about us. No! She doesn't have my resilience. She needs someone to help her get past all this. That's why you're here, to be her life coach. And Lydia, she is being, she's being brought in on a couch, but I don't have a couch. And she's like, hey, dad, does this couch make me look dead? Lydia, I'm not going to answer that. Lydia, we talked about this sad, saddy, sad stuff. Do you remember what I said? Yeah, stop acting so weird. I need this job. No, I couldn't. My girl, Otho, who said sadness is like kale salad. No one likes it. Throw it out. And she's like, Dad, how long are we going to stay here? I want to go home. And he's like, about that. I figured we needed a fresh start. So I sold our home. We're going to live here. What? Dad, no, you can't do that. Dead mom loved our house. Dead mom? Lydia. You never want to talk about her. That's because I'm trying to... Delia, do your job. And Delia's like, knock, knock. Who's there? Happiness. And she's like, no. She's like, dad. And, and, and Delia runs away. She's like, what the fuck? And she's like, dad, please. Our whole life is in that house. Don't you remember when we moved in? It was all run down and horrible. And mom said, let's clean it up. And she made us sing that song she loved. And shake 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 sonora shake your body right and she, he's like lydia you've been dressed in black for months obsessing about death i'm in mourning yes but we have to move forward all of us maxi dean will be here for dinner in two days at our model home with our model family lydia i know you won't let me down and she's like yeah it'd be terrible if we let each other down and then they all they go away Delia also leaves and only lives, it leaves Lydia here all by herself, but she has a camera. That's her camera. Friend, friendly, friendly little camera for Lydia. Hey mom, dead mom, I need a little help here. I'm probably talking to myself here. But then mom, I got ask, are you really in the ground? Cause I feel you all around me. Are you here? Dead mom, dead mom. Dead mom, I'm tired of trying to iron out my creases. I'm a bunch of broken pieces. It was you who made me whole. Every day that's staring at me like I'll hurry up, get happy, move along. Forget about your mom. Cause daddy's in denial, daddy doesn't wanna feel He wants me to smile and clap like a performing seal Ignored it for a while, but daddy's off his mind for real You won't believe the mess that we become You're my home, my destination And I'm your clone, your strange creation You held my hand, and life came easy And jokes don't land, and no one sees me Mama, is this it? Or is it? Are you receiving? I want something to believe in or I'm done. Take me to a slow and run. Or I'll be in my bedroom, wake me when I'm 21. Daddy's looking forward. Daddy didn't lose a mom. Mama, won't you send us 
sign. I'm running out of hope and time. A plague of mice, a lightning strike, or a drop a nuclear bomb. No more playing daddy's game. I go insane if things don't change. Whatever it takes to make him say your name, dead mom. And now we're up in the attic, and I'm sorry, why are we in the attic? And Beetlejuice was like, oh, right, I'm going to teach you how to be ghosts. And then Barbara was like, oh, this is just like our classes. Can't she just scare these people for us? And he was like, oh, that, I would love, to, love nothing more than to kill the people down there for you. And I'm like, what, kill? We don't want to kill. It's a figure of speech, Adam. Jesus Christ, why do you have to be so sexy? And then, well, now, no matter what I do, I cannot affect the world of the living, but the two of you can. So what do you say? And they're like, well, um, okay. And then Billy was like, on the count of three, y'all the scariest things you can think of, okay? Three, two, one, the Trader Joe's parking lot! And then Adam's like, the Electoral College! Why is it so high in Bowerbomb? Bob? And then she's like, oh, I want to change my answer. They are so, so suburbanly white. I love them. Okay, okay, listen up, I'm not gonna lie. Right now you couldn't frighten a fly or scare a seagull off of a fry. You ever stop to ask yourself why? Middle class of bourbon and white. Middle class of bourbon and white. Well, all that is finished tonight, except for the white part, obviously. Take your places, I walk your face, and now go bigger, further, harder, not fast, ever ahead. Preferably someone, you know, look at me, I'm so scary. Don't be so vanilla with a little anger, kill you. Come on, drop your panties, I'm trying to fill you with wisdom and skill, and the instincts you can. Again, we do not want to kill anyone, fine, but come on, get away. You can't make to see ya. I take jump stairs, the drink Japanese goes well, plus, learn to die. Boys and boy friends, but apart now that's cool. I want to do that. Takes them, make them go crazy. Raising the stage by punching the baby, scare them away till they break. You'll be quaking in fright. Cause you've got some evil deep down inside you. Put all the farmers' markets behind you. You've got to work on a hot till it hurts through the night. Because I've got the friends they want. Yeah, yeah. Let's start with things that you hate. Well, hate's a very strong word. Perhaps some people are late or getting pooped on by birth. No one feels you with rage. Being mean to a pet, she's used to my stage when the user may realize that. Oh, my goodness, food. Oh, my kills while you do. Oh, I found that so rude. Well, there's a lot easier. Take a deep breath and give him your best time on game. Ah! This time, pretend like me. Ah! I want freedom, but to get my freedom, I need them to get a living person to say my name. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Thank me, choosers, but then they have to be such losers. Both of them are deathly tall and lame. Why can't I say that you said these bad winners? Even like a tax attorney would have been better. Somebody was grabbing to somebody to fear you. As you need some people just we can kind of hear you. That was his little key. You're the ones being rude. Ever takes them, make them go crazy. Turn all the lights on, dress like a baby. Adam, I don't even know why. Get your hands in the game. Let's hide your phones, cause the phones are oh, these dumb little hopeless. How will I ever survive? I love to get the front of their lie. Yes, yes, we're feeling it. They're gonna feel it. We're killing it. They gotta get the front of their lie. Beetlejuice is like, oh, they're actually completely hopeless, you know? They, they're, they're not scary at all. Well, bye! And he's making to leave, and they're like, wait, didn't you say you're gonna help us? And he's like, I want to help you guys, it's literally all I wanted, but you two are helpless. And they're like, what did you expect? We're not like you. And he's like, I know that, Barbara! No one's like me, that's the problem! And then like, so you're, you're just gonna leave us? And yes, Adam, this isn't working out. See you in hell, I'm gone. And he leaves. And Adam, he's pissed. He's like, that guy needs therapy. I hope there's a dead therapist to help him get the help he needs. And then, hey, Barbara, those are our guest sheets. Cause she's tearing up their guest sheets right now, okay? And then they're gonna be like little ghosties because of these these little guest sheets. And now now they're like, they, they got the, the, the little ghosty guest sheets on. Like this. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Little. And. If we want our house back, we have to fight for it. Well, how? No one can see us. Well, God damn it. Let's haunt this bitch! Oblivion call, so we might as well walk through some walls. I'm sure we can haunt our own halls, cause Adam are ready as we'll ever get. If we want to win back our home, I gotta get right outside my comfort zone. We're right to chase and I don't know, and wail and moan until they go. Are you willing to take the next step? Yes, ready, set, ready, set, ready, set, let's woo! Okay, and then there you go. Bum, 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 bum. 
in the hallway that Lydia, I know I am paid to care about you, but I'd like us to be real friends. So why don't we clear all out the stuff out of the attic and build you a dark room? And Lydia's like, my whole life is a dark room. One big dark room. And Delia's like, well, that's depressing. You know what my guru Otho says about depression? It's like an ugly sweater. It's okay at Christmas, but all the other times of the year, you gotta put it away. Which reminds me, I got you a new dress for your father's business dinner. And it's a very cute, you know, very cute yellow dress. It says I'm warm, I'm friendly, and I think about death only a normal amount. And Lydia's like, I prefer black. And... You know, the was like, Lydia, right now you're redirecting anger and deflecting pain and other terms I learned in my training. What you need is a new perspective. And the universe is more than just space with no end. La 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 la, just think of the universe as a female best friend. And you'd be like, hey universe, what's happening, girl? And she'd be like, oh nothing, just running the world. And you'd be like, what? And the universe would be like, I know. You're on the right track, girl, I got your back, girl, I'm helping you grow. Think positive, act positive, you are a child of the earth. Life coaching, knowing you. Time to take command, you dictate the hand the universe feels. Look, science makes sense, who needs evidence? Go with your feels. I'm like a radio tuned to the stars. I found my frequency crystal, speak to me, what did it say? Bye, Lord Crystal. Everything, everything happens for a reason. Me a beginning of light in the world, put a little all right in the world. There's spiritual guides above, look up and see them. Perception is reality, just listen to the melody of the universe. Cause everything, everything happens for a reason. She hates to break it to you. The universe is just a content of time, matter, and space. Yeah? Then one billion light years across, and the Earth's a small place where good people die. And famine and in wars. The Pacific Islands are thinking, but negative thinking is hardly the cause. Think of life is all unicorns and rainbows, cause you're bored. And positivity is a luxury that you can afford We're gonna die, yes, you and I, in meaninglessness and alone No, 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 no! One day you may wake up alone Cause your husband and boyfriend bought a bone and then you the way to Rome So you cry yourself sleeping in the stair Talking to walls cause there's no one there And you have to buy a cat cause that's your last chance you have a family Take it from me! That your aging ass will have to believe that! Everything, everything happens for a reason Put some more fun in the world, a little eye of out in the world Be prepared to take your eggs and freeze them Cause everything, everything happens Sounds like terrible things can happen Because the universe is random Yes, but random for a reason Delia goes The stress also goes with her Lydia's here And then the ghosts come And they're like, leave this house Leave this house! And then what the heck did they do to our house? You can't make every wall an accent wall! And Lydia's like, oh my god, are you ghost? This house is haunted! And they're like, run! Hide now! They suck as ghosts. And, and Lydia's like, wait, mom, I asked you for a sign. Is this it? Wait! They run back to the attic. They're back in the attic. Ah, that was so scary! Oh god, that was a disaster! I thought these were twin sheets! They're queens! We kind of like, Evening, ghost. My name is Lydia Dietz. Do not be afraid. And they're like, Why are you not afraid of us? And she's like, Because you're not scary. And they're like, Wait, I'm confused. You can see us without the sheets. They don't have their sheets on anymore. You just gotta go. You can see us without the sheets, but we were told living people ignore the strange and unusual, but not you. And she's like, perhaps that's because I myself am strange and unusual. And she's like, well, you seem like a normal girl to me. And it's, it's like a nice moment. And then so Lydia, since you can see us, I'll just get straight to the point. Do you mind leaving and never coming back? And uh, Lydia's like, I would love to, but we're not a family. We're father, daughter, and Delia. And then they're like, what about your mother? And she's like, she died. And I'm so sorry. And she's like, me too, because she'd love this real ghost. And, and then Lydia just talks about cute stuff about her mom that they did together. And she's like, sorry for chatting your ear off about my mom. And the Maitlands are like, we don't mind. And she's like, really? My dad doesn't want us to talk about her. It's like the law around here. And Adam was like, well, I don't see any police around here. And they're like, ha ha ha, that joke. Then they have a bright idea. They're like, maybe we can help each other. And you're like, you guys want your house back, right? That's what I want too. So let's scare my dad. Once he realizes this house is haunted, he'll have to leave. And the Maitlands are like, he won't see us. And Lydia's like, he doesn't see me either. We invisibles have to work together. And now they're going to go. They're going to go scare, scare her dad. 
in the bedroom. They are sitting here post-sex. And her dad's like, I worry about Lydia. And Delia's like, she is so stubborn. I just need more time. And the dad's like, no, you have failed. But so have I. This is also wrong. You are my employee, but also my lover. It's like, and Delia's like, prostitution. And dad's like, not not good for Lydia. She needs stability. But here we are sneaking around like two teenagers at a church picnic. It has to stop. She's like, wait, Charles, are you breaking up with me? And he's like, no, you're firing me. No, you're breaking up with me and firing me. And he's like, no, I'm not comfortable with feelings. What I'm saying is I hired you to help my daughter, but you ended up helping me. We can't hide this anymore. Do you understand what I'm proposing? I'm proposing. Delia Schlimmer, will you do me the honor of signing a prenup and becoming my second wife? And she's like, oh, Charles! And they're, they're going to... And they're like, ah! And then Leah comes in and she's like, oh, they're... Delia's hiding. Pretend she's under a blankie or something. Leah comes she's like, ah! No, no, there's ghosts! They're chasing me! And they're like, leave this house! And we have to move back to New York, pack everything you have in! And then she pulls the blanket off and then she sees Delia on the bed. She's like, Delia? What is Delia doing in your bed? Lydia, I asked Delia to marry me. No, Dad, you can't do that. I need a wife. And you need a mother. I have a mother. Lydia, in 24 hours, Maxie Dean will be here to have dinner with our family. And I'd like for us to be a family. And Lydia's like, I wish I was dead. And Delia's like, Charles, maybe we shouldn't have. No, she just needs more time. And we're panning up to the roof where Beetlejuice is up here alone. And he's like... You're, you're invisible when you're me. me. There's, There's no, no one to see my truth. truth. If they could look up, they'd see, hey, somebody's on the roof. God, it's mortifying, what's the point of even trying? Cause now I'm trapped with no escape, vanishes a vow. I vanish like a cloud of dirty hipster vein. Nobody said my despair. Guess they will never see the demon who isn't there. You're invisible when you are me. Whoa, what do we have here? By the time you read this, I believe Lady Deeds will be gone. There's nothing for me here. I'm alone, forsaken, invisible. That makes two of us. Who the hell are you? Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. You can see me. I'm gonna have a new best friend. And he's like, so, living girl, what brings you to the roof? And she's like, I'm gonna jump! And he's like, no! I mean, no. I have an idea. How about impaling yourself? Instead of impaling yourself on that bird mouth down there, how about you um say my name three times? And she's like, what? And he's like, don't make me beg because I will beg. And he's like, okay, fine, I'm begging. I'm so sick and tired of being invisible. And you, you can change all that. And she's like, I can't change anything. That's why I'm doing this. Once I'm dead, my dad will be sorry. And he's like, no, don't jump. That won't happen. You'll just be dead. Hey, you know what? You and me, we're not that different. You don't like your dad. I don't like my mom. She's a demon and she doesn't get me. She's always like, get a job. Why is your hair green? I should have left like your father. Point is, maybe we can help each other out. You, you could use a buddy. Don't, don't you want a pal? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Girl, the way I see your daddy should be leaving and you stick around and kill him. What? No, no, end yourself. Defend yourself. Daddy's the one you should name. Together we exterminate. Assassinate. The final person. Can't wait to try to say my name. Go ahead and jump the door and stop baby. You're gonna fall and plant the ocean. I can bring your daddy so much pain. All you're gonna do is say my name. You're gonna say it three times in a row. You won't believe how far I'll go. I'm on the bench for coach. Just put me in the game. All you can do is say my name. I don't know your name. Well, I can't say it. How about I give me a charade? You have to say two words. Second word, drink, beverage, wine, juice. Okay, first word, bug, and beetle, beetlejuice. Wow, I'm impressed. All you gotta do is say my name three times. Three times in a row. Meet fucking unbroken. Ready? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Be. Cause you're so smart, I stand up bro, I'll think about your offer, let you know, but I prefer my chances down below. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, being in the people doesn't mean that I'm an easy mark, and I'm swimming with the rounds, I don't need a shark. Yes, I suck, but not that much, okay, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, be a don't fear the lecture. I'm offering you a full time sex, but are you any good, you fetch? Trust me, baby, I just match you really, it's a flattering offer. Don't you wanna see that suffer? There's a trip, oh, my name's Suicide. But Beetlejuice, not if I lost my mind. You were tougher than you look. Just want to make sure I know who I'm working with. Got any references? Lydia, there you are! Get away from her, Lydia. This is a dangerously unstable individual. This is Beetlejuice Smart. Beetlejuice He can help. He found him up. I told him all. And another day we prevent him. Every word's the truth. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. What the heck was that? 
So finally, thing, there you go, kid. Couple five star reviews. What was that? That was position. Any girl can do that in less than one lesson. Any girl's pretty much any girl's producer. What do I need you for? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, girl. I'm your pal. There's people, but I'm a demon straight from hell. I know I went a little hard on myself, but we're being MMS forever. Ah! She got pushed off. What? He was already dead. I heard what he said. Any ghost can do that possession stuff. We don't need that demon. The three of us alone can wreck that evening. Together we can make a grown man. We've got to go to dinner and to keep. Okay, so what's the plan? Teach dad a lesson. He's gonna freak when we possess him. So he wants the perfect daughter. I'll lead the land to slaughter. Yeah, I got game. I'm gonna make it say my name. Make it say your name. I'll make it say my name. Make it say your name. I'll make it say my name. Not running away. I'll make it say my name. Back into him. The home interior. So Delia is here, and she's with the dad, and also, um, I gotta, I gotta grab a, a, a second thing, hold on. Don't mind, don't mind what's happening. Okay. And then dad's like, he's here, Delia. And, and Delia's like, Charles, does this trust say mindfulness? And he's like, not now, woman. We do not have time to make screaming passionate love, but we will. And, and uh, he's like, where's Lydia? And she's like, still locked in her room. And damn it. All right, we'll just have to do this without her. Maxie Dean arrives. He is here. Wherever he is, Maxi Dean arrives and he comes with his very beautiful wife. Beautiful big wife. See, he's tiny and he has a tiny, tiny wife. And he is greeted, he's brought over to the table and they make small talk and Maxi Dean's like, wait, didn't you used to have a daughter? And he's like, oh yes, Lydia, but she, she won't be joining us today, you know, she, she can't uh, make it. So they're, they're right here. And, and then Lydia actually arrives. Lydia comes and she's like, Father, dear! Oh, Father, did I hear the dinner bell? So sorry, I'm late, everybody. And everyone's like, yay, she's come! And then she's like, yay! She's like, Delia, a toast? I'm gonna put her on the table. They're, they're gonna go away for a second. Don't mind that they're disappearing. They'll, they'll come back. Business friends. I have only known this, this amazing, amazing, amazing man and his unique daughter for a few months. I don't even know how many, but I can check my business. business. As the as girl also says, Bell! No. What? What's, What's going on, Delia? Right? Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know what just happened. I'm gonna say, I'm just saying. Mm, Mr. 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 On behalf of Delia and myself, I just like to say we're gonna end the work done. They like how many won't go home. The morning come, ah, they like how many won't go home. Day, me say day yo. They like how many won't go home. Come, Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. They like how many won't go home. Come, Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. They like how many won't go home. Call 911. Wait, why are you dancing? It's like I told you, this house is awesome. And those who live here want you out. They 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 want you no! Beetlejuice! The royal boy! Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice! And it's showtime! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Looks like we're not invisible anymore! I also have a Beetlejuice head. I don't know where it is. I lost the Beetlejuice head. It's fine. 
Wait, it's right here. Beetlejuice! Good for, goodbye, everyone! In intermission, I'm just gonna say thank you, thank you, Melly, for the reset. Thank you, Saw the Chode for the follow. Thank you, Cruvette for the follow. Thank you, guys, for the hype train. Thank you, Wiggle for the follow. Thank you, Ban Choke Chew for the follow. Thank you, Me Bad for the bitties. Thank you, A Quiet Sigh for the follow. Ah, uh, thank you, Yasa, for the five gifts up. If you got a gift up from Yasa, be sure to thank them. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Noah, for the Risa. Thank you. Thank you, you Tenta, for the follow. Thank you, Alexa X for the follow. And thank you, Corbalite, for the race up. I appreciate it. Thank you also, Flores, for the bitties. I will be putting this on YouTube later because it is a condensed thing like my other musicals. So this will also be going on YouTube. And we are in the final, the end of Act 1. And the last act... We'll resume shortly. If you must take a break, please, please take a, I don't know, four, two minute break. I don't know how theaters work. Usually you're sitting there for an hour and a half or something. And you're like, God, I gotta pee real bad. But it's only been 44 minutes. So maybe you guys don't have to pee that bad. You know? But I'll be, I'll be back. Yeah, literally it's like 15 minutes breaks, but I'm not gonna do 15 minutes. I'll, I'll do two minutes i'll be back at 47 and you guys can um pretend like role play get up out of your seat walk to the bathroom and like wait at your bathroom door even though there's no line you can pretend like oh the line's so long and you start a conversation with the person waiting in line with you and you're like uh oh, what a good show huh and instead of that the act one P4S, huh? <laughs> yeah, even the break is at two times speed. You block the aisle with your legs and text on your phone. I, you know, I straddle you to get over you. Throws one popcorn at a time at the people in the front row. If you can hit them and they leave, you, you are legally allowed to take their seats. Yeah, all right, girl. It's time to go to the bathroom together. I'll be, I'll just be right back. We're just gonna right back into it. In um, one minute. In one minute. This is it, the day I've been waiting for, wishing, hoping, working and praying for the day my parents have been delaying for years. Ooh, I'm gonna sell some cookies, it's not their fault. I've been overprotected, I was born with arrhythmia, my heart is affected, only takes one shot. And I could be dead from the fear, still, I'm gonna sell some cookies, hike by hike, song by song. The girls, girls help my heart grow strong, they have my back if anything went wrong with me. Jamboree, soda pop, the scraping from the back of my heart just stopped from the trail you fell in my pulmonary artery. Wee, when you're a girl scout, everything's gonna work out. Even if you're born with a congenital heart disease, and you can feel you killed by a random disease, you're a girl scout. Everything's gonna work out. Just gonna ring the bell with this creepy looking house. Hello, little girl. Hello, little girl. 
I've got to change your dress. Hi, my name is Scott, and I'm here today to support the Girl Scout by selling cookies for dollars a box. Would you like some? Sure, really. I got chocolate, banana, and oat bran, pecan, some oats, and cinnamon, and one that tastes like apple pie. Why don't you come inside? We're really not supposed to. Why, pedophiles? But it's so cold, and you're not me, and no one gets molested by a coffee teen, so I guess, okay, it's fine, yeah? Alright, I'll come inside! They're going inside. They're gonna go inside. I'm gonna change Lydia's dress while they're walking inside. Sound? The beautiful sound. That is the sound of clean white shorts turning brown, torture and pain, breaking a brain. The sound that says, I will never sleep well again. The sound of a scream is music to me. A sound that says, 15 years old of therapy, trauma and fear, and things in my ear. Ain't it the sweetest noise around that beautiful sound? You want to answer for me? More than big. Don't so act natural. Come on, you're giving me advice. I'm the U.S. Census Bureau. Time for a few. Oh my God! How many people live here? Just me. Oh, and you? I don't live here. I'm dead. Ah! Panic and stress. Panic and stress. Oh, ain't the best. Ain't the best. The sound of a heart, heart exploding inside a chest. It fills you with pride. We're ruining lives. Ain't it the sweetest noise in town? That beautiful sound. Hey. You know what makes us even more awesome? What? More me. You want to hear that sound? You want to hear that sound? And then she's like, why can't I leave the house? And then he opens the door and there's like snakes out there. He's like, snakes, there are snakes out there. They eat, they eat the dead. Snakes eat the dead. That's foreshadowing. And rule number two, every new ghost gets a tote bag. And she's like, a tote bag? What do I need a tote bag for? And inside the tote bag, there is a handbook for the recently deceased. And she's like, what is this? And she's like, it's a handbook that you can't open because you're not dead. And she's like, what, what's in here? And like, oh, you know. And it's like, can I use it to find my mom? Your mom? Your mom's dead. She's in the netherworld. In the netherworld? Can I bring her back? Why would anyone want to spend more time with their mom? I can't open it. Well, yeah, that's because you're not dead. And she's like, oh, well, I'll just go ask Barbara and Adam to open it. She runs off like, wait, where are you going? You're leaving me? I thought we were pals. And she's like, what are you talking about? I got to find my mom. Do you know what it feels like? I'm alone again. I mean, everyone can see me now. But if I were alive, I could get out of this house. And there is a way. All I have to do is convince Lydia to marry me. And then all the Beetlejuices are like, huh? And he's like, no, no, not like a marriage. Like a green card marriage. And I'm like, oh, okay, a green card marriage. And I've got a little plan. I might have to get a little mean. A little nasty. 
Well, if you want to treat me like a demon, then I'll have to be a demon. Do you hear that sound? That beautiful sound. The sound of a super evil plan going now. Me and our wife, she's in for a shock. As soon as she lifts the lid off Pandora's box, a man with a plan, I lift it high. Speaking of living, it's always a given that I would soon be alive. I'll be unshackled, come on, let's cackle. Soon I'll be painting the town, and it's the sweetest noise around. That beautiful sound. Daddy. Adam and Barbara up here. That's not. That's not who I wanted to grab. He's still downstairs. He's still down there. And they're worrying about Lydia, and they're like, they're trying to find a way to get rid of Beetlejuice. And I'm like, you know, hate is a strong word, but I do not like Beetlejuice. And Lydia's like, she she comes all the way up here. I have no clue where Lydia is. She's gone. She's lost. I lost her. I lost Lydia. I lost. I lost Lydia. I lost her. Her thing is gone. I found her. She's right here. And she's like, yeah, he's a monster, but he gave me this, and she has a book. I, I lost the book. The book is like, and they're like, what is this book? A book? And Lydia's like, yeah, I can't open it. I'm trying to get my mom back. Adam want to do the honors? Adam takes the book he's reading. He's like, oh, there's the rules of the recently deceased that all ghosts should proceed directly to the netherworld. So they draw a door in the wall with um chalk and Adam's like being possessed and stuff and starts moving towards the door. He's like, netherworld, netherworld. And Barbara's like, closes the door. He's like, and Lydia's like, no, why did you do that? I thought you were on my side. And, and then, uh, um, Barbara's like, Lydia, we are, but you can't live like this in a haunted house all alone. And Lydia's like, I've been alone since my mother died. I would just get her back, please. And Barbara's like, it's too risky. We're scared for you. And Lydia's like, you're scared of everything. That's why you're stuck in this attic. And then Adam was just like, that, was, that wasn't that nice. And then Barbara's like, Adam, is she right? You made some points, you know? Look at the stuff. God, it's depressing. A shrine to the feelings we've been repressing. Maybe we should go. My life, meaning with all Jay's plans, I abandoned or quit. It's the stuff of our lives and all of its shit. What's up, computers? I spend your own yarn kit? Oh, we kombucha that tastes like armpit. Take it and trash it, burn it or smash it. We have to adapt to survive. We can be fighters with firesiders. We're more than a try. We're like, why? The Barbara, you marry. She is dead and buried. Sit so below. Oh, 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 oh. And the Barbara, the doormat. She's come back in a new format. Time to let go. Say hello to Barbara 2.0. I never even use this. Break it! Barbara, you're right! I think I've been hiding. I was too in the light pottery! Second to sight, like my unused aluminum siding. Trapped in static, trapped in this attic, now Adam is shedding his skin! No more excuses, we're no longer using the guys that they lose, we can finally dig in! The new Adam is wiser, the old one's fertilizer, it's time to like go! I'm tired of doors, to better or more, we can just walk, we'll be done that before, well we cannot ignore, Lydia needs us, and that much reason she sees us, Adam, I wanna stay, she needs people who won't run away, friends that don't stop at problems or obstacles, not a house but a home, let's go! Time to like, oh, 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 cause the new upgraded Maitlands are charging out the gates and they're gonna unlock! I'm very scared to go back to the house because I don't know what's there. Ah. Uh, imagine they're not there. They're gone. Oh my god, where'd all the beetle juices go? But, um... Dad and Delia return. They're back inside. Dad and Delia has come back.
and they're scared. They're, they're scared of Beetle just coming back to kill them. And, and Delia's like, what if Lydia has already been possessed? And Delia canceled the exorcist because she invited her guru Otho and said, and Otho has a plan. And the plan to suck the ghost, like suck, suck the ghost with a spirit box. And they go outside to get the, the sucking spirit box, okay? So they're, they're gone again. And Lydia comes in. And Beetlejuice is here behind her, so he was technically there. He's here right now. And Lydia's like, um, can you believe that they won't help me? And he's like, oh, that's, uh, you know, like, yeah, they're total downers, but I've always had your back. I'm on your side. And he crosses the fingers behind his back and scouts honor. That book has a lot of nasty stuff in it. Let me point you to the right page on getting your mom back. And Lydia wants to believe it because she wants her mom back. She's like, okay. And then she goes upstairs after reading the thing. And, and then Dad and Delia come back in. And they're gonna try to capture Beetlejuice with the sucking machine, you know? The, the sucking, the sucking machine. And then Adam and Barbara come downstairs while everyone is here. Like, it's a whole party now. We are getting a literal party in here. And they're like, Lydia, wait! We want to help you after all! We want to help you! And, and then, and Lydia's like, I don't want your help! I'm bringing my mom back, and you can't stop me! She starts chanting, Lydia starts chanting the thing in the book. Everyone is here. It's like a fucking party. Everyone, everyone is on stage. And she starts chanting the spell, Beetle just pointed to her, but it's actually an exorcism spell, and it's killing Barbara! Barbara's literally dying right now, she's like, ah! But Lydia doesn't want to kill Barbara, and Beetle just is like, Hey guys, awesome seance! Lots of good old-fashioned chaos! You lose in your faces, cause look who's holding all the aces! And Lydia's like, you lied to me! And Beetle just is like, I'm a demon, what did you expect? I'll help you, if you marry me! And everyone's like, huh? A marriage? And he's like, no, like a green card marriage. But no one agrees with this. So he starts using his like demon magic and everyone's like getting zapped and stuff. So it's, it's, hey, it's great that you ate up my plan. Now the pooch has been screwed and the shit's hit the fan. You wanted me gone. You wanted your mom. You messed with the wrong book. Now look what you've done. And then like there's a lot of chaos going on. And she's like, fine, okay, I'll marry you. And you know, she just starts fixing everything. And there's gonna be a good old fashioned wedding with some dancing and undeading where the cover man is crashing and the age cap is upsetting. When I finally say I do, I'll be alive and born anew. And I'll be boring, just like you. And then Beale just draws a door after he fixes everything because he's going to send Adam and Barbara back to the netherworld. He's like, all right, guys, get the fuck out of here. You know, go into the netherworld. And the netherworld, like, he no longer needs them. So he's going to, Lydia pulls a bait and switch. And she goes, Lydia goes into the door instead. She's like, you know what? Fuck you. And then dad's like, Lydia, no. And then dad, dad goes into the door too. I can't click on dad for some reason but he leaves that's gone that that also leaves and Beetle's just like no why does everyone keep leaving me new plan you're all going to die everyone here is going to die we are we are in the netherworld now but give me give me one moment because it needs to be spookier Okay, they're in the netherworld now, okay? They're in the netherworld now, and Lydia's running around, and Dad is looking for her. And Lydia's like, Dad, you followed me? Where are we? And then here comes... Why is that there? Why is that there? And she's like, this is the netherworld! Welcome! I am the 
once and forever, Miss Argentina. Let's get you processed. Where's your handbook? And Lydia's like, I don't have one. I'm not actually dead. She's like, that's impossible. A living girl in the land of the dead? You have to go back now before Juno sees you. She's like, I'm not going back. I'm going to find my mom. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone here would go back if they could. And she's hot shit, okay? She's like, she's hot as hell. She's very sexy. And then we got... Uh, you know, she's very attractive. You can probably tell by her, the green skin tint. I was hot. I went to parties a lot. You know, I was driving Lamborghinis and Lamborghini, supercharged machines and the tiniest bikinis on a yacht. But I was depressed. I was completely obsessed. And I happy duty clean to drink this archina that sold this seem all the mess. So I gave it up for the nether world. I've been here forever, girl. If I was work lab, but girl, I would suck it out of knowing what life's about. Pain and joy and suffering, failing but recovering. I'll tell you another thing, everything here is alone. So if you're breathing, go home. If I knew then what I know now, I would have looked within and let love in somehow. If I only knew the truth back then, I wouldn't have had my little accident. Don't be blind. You left your whole life behind. So you shrink, call a priest, act and recently deceit. That's it, finally, you cannot press rewind. Jump, well, night is red. Toaster should be used for bread. Never smoke cigars and bread. Nietzsche was right, you know. It's like a tough bro. Don't you know I'm the one you went. Never whip a thoroughbred. Angry, pink, me, chunk, and dead. Wanna take death to see. Happiness was up to me. If I knew then what I know now, I would have laughed and danced and left every sacred cow. I thought I knew, but I was wrong. But that's just like, death is super long. If I knew then what I know now, I would have got to be lying to drink all the wine before my final bow. If I knew the things that now I know, I would ride the highs and cherish the lows, going the quick trip round the rodeos, and then lower the curtain and start to enjoy the show. That's what I know. So Miss Argentina is very, very sexy, as you can tell by here. And then Juno appears, and she's a mean old lady, and she's like, she looks like the slug thing from Monsters, Inc., and she's here to process all the dead people. And she's like, everyone, get in line, you know, to get processed to be dead. And it's like uh, the airport metal detector right here. She's getting everyone moving along, like, like they're at the airport. And Lydia runs through. She's like, I gotta find my mom. She runs through, and this thing starts blaring. She's like, this is not a dead girl. She's like, whoa, you're actually alive? I need to get her. You're not allowed to be here. And then the Scooby-Doo chase happens, but Lydia loses them while she's trying to find her mom. They are all running after her. Everyone is being forced to run after her. Even these, um, I, I lost the football people. They're gone. I, I lost, I lost uh, the crowd of foot, footballers. So everyone is chasing after her, even her dad. And then Juno is in a walking walker. So she is going at two miles an hour. And Lydia's like, ugh, what am I doing? You know, she can't, she's like being chased and she lost them. She's like, what, what, what am I doing? Mama, I could use some help here. Tired of talking to myself here. Back at home, you don't exist. So here I am in the abyss. Are you really in this place? It's like the emptiness of space. I could search for all eternity and never see your face. Help me out I'm lost without you standing Stuck on this impossible road No idea which way to go Whichever path I choose I lose, you know And I don't know which way's home oh, I don't know which way's home oh, oh, oh. You always saw life as a game But since you left it sucks to play I'm beaten up and bruised Confused by rules that alter every day Where to next? You left, but I'm still standing Spinning on this infinite road Terrified of letting you go No light above and there's no hope below And I don't know which way's home Mama got a heart in her hand Speak to me and I'll understand One little word to know I'm not alone And show me the way back home Oh, is there a way back home? Oh, the nothingness ahead of me Is this the end you meant for me? 
me every living minute. There's no home without you in it. I'm falling, with stalling. Your daughter is calling your name. I burned all my bridges and games. That appears. It's a very sad moment. Lydia, thank God I found you. We've got to go home. Lydia in tears. I don't have a home. And he's like, don't say that. Look, I know things have been difficult, but we're moving forward, right? That's your answer for everything. Move forward. Feel nothing. Well, you got what you wanted. An infinite abyss of nothing. You think that's what I want? I never, you never say anything. She was my whole world. She loved us and you won't even say her name because it hurts too much. She was my world too, Lydia. That's why I've been trying so hard to build a new one. But dad, there's no one in it. We left each other behind, now we're all alone. Dad's like, you're right, you know. Your mother knew this was going to happen. I mean, not this. I don't think anyone could have predicted this. A few nights before the end, Emily took my hand and said, I know you want to fix it, but you just have to hold on and live through it. I thought she was talking about us, but she was talking about us. And Lady's like, I don't want to forget her. I'm so scared I'm going to forget about her. Promise me, we can talk about her. And Dad's like, anytime you want. And they hug, and they embrace, finally, they forgive each other, and she's like, okay, let's, let's go home. Mom, I don't want to forget you. I promise, I'm never gonna forget you. I'm gonna go back home, Adam, Barbara, Delia, and Dad. There's nothing but they're all that I have, I'll make the best of being flesh and bone. Mom, I'm going home, yeah. Mom, I'm going home, oh, oh, oh. That doesn't start yet. I need to um, I need to I need to fix someone's outfit real quick before we get into the next scene. Don't look at that. That's not, that's not real. Now they are back at the home, we're back at the home, and Beatles just, it's time for life or death! And there is a wheel in the middle, as you can see, someone is gonna die. It's time for America's favorite game show! Where the contestants suck, and the host is very angry because his amazing plan to become alive just went balls up! Let's spin the wheel! It's, it's die. It's die, die, die. It also is on this wheel, it just says die. And Delia's like, don't worry, Otho, we'll put you in the cell box. And Otho's like, I'm a sham, Delia. My name is Kevin. And Delia's like, gasp! Spin it! It's spun. He is dead. Ha! Oh no, I wonder what it's gonna end on. Ha! And then Lydia returns, she's back. And she's in a wedding dress. Whoa! And she's like, hey, BJ. And then Lydia, what's up, sugar lumps? Did you think I wasn't gonna come back? And he's like, you literally jumped into hell to get away from me. She's like, I had a change of heart. And dad comes and she's like, and she wanted my blessing. And they're talking. And he's like, she wanted my blessing, which does not come easy, Mr. Juice. I respect your resilience and your moxie. They go over here to talk, you know, to distract them. And they're talking, and then Lydia goes over to tell them her plan. She's gonna whisper them her plan. I'm also going to dress Beetlejuice right now, because I don't think I can do it in the middle of the song. So you guys can watch him be dressed. He's going to get naked. I'm sorry. It's like a live, like, whoa, this goes on behind the scenes? He is gonna have a wedding day, okay? And that's crazy. But he needs to be 
very sexy for his wedding. So he has like Bieber hair and that's his wedding outfit. And don't look, he got naked in front of the crowd, but it's okay because it's fine, it's fine. And then uh, Lydia tells everyone her plan and let's move, let's move dad over a little bit. And then Adam comes and he's like, wait, I object to this wedding. Your sexual harassment has worked. I have fallen in love with you, Among Us Kiss. And Barbara slaps Adam. She's like, ah! And she's like, I am angry. I too am attracted to Mr. Beetlejuice. And she does not Among Us Kiss him because that would be gross, okay? She's like, mm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna Among Us Kiss that. I don't wanna Among Us Kiss that, okay? And Peter's like, I believe you, but I don't believe you guys are the swinging type, except Delia, except that lady over there. She's, she's seen stuff. It's like, Beetlejuice, it's not about that. Lydia's like, it's not about that, Beetlejuice. It's about, like, the people, it's about love and life and the, the people you share it with, okay? You know? Um, get this out of the way. They're gonna have a wedding, so I'm gonna put them in the middle for their, their happy, happy, go lucky wedding, you know? Let's, let's move, let's move that. There we go. Way back when I was just ten, simple and sweet Everywhere fellas would stare out on the street And I felt used, kinda confused, I would refuse to look in their eyes But now I really love creepy old guys, they all do! Gum disease, skin like grilled cheese, saggy old asses, saggy old asses Cute and wild, hey baby smile to each girl that passes They make me blush, can't get enough, now one of them loves me, wants to be mine Marrying my own creepy old guy! My creepy old guy, my creepy old guy, I'm so happy I could cry Girls may seem disgusted, but we're actually just shy My creepy old groom, creepy old groom, play that wedding tune, they both step aside Cause here comes the bride I am marrying my creepy old guy Creepy old guy, creepy old guy, creepy old guy He's my creepy old guy Fix his hair, get him prepared for Armageddon Sure the groom, on the room, hey it's a wedding So dim the lights, pick up the night So many nights, it's my day to shine I'm getting hitched to my creepy old guy Creepy old guy, she's marrying a creepy old guy Have you guys seen Lolita? This is just like that, but fine Creepy old dude, creepy old dude Our faith has been renewed, our love's alive I am baby girl, goodbye I am walking down the aisle I want to see there in every eye as I pass by I know that on the outside he's disgusting And even on the inside he's disgusting But I know that this time I'm making it right With my family by my side Dressed to a tee, fancy and formal I found me a life, look I'm delighted, this is so normal I was ignored, but now I'm adored Cause I extorted, tortured and lied Give it up for my underage ride Here comes the bride, here comes the bride God be glorified I can't believe some cultures think this kind of thing's alright My creepy old guy, my creepy old guy Doesn't he deserve a chance at life? Yeah that's right, so let's make him alive I am marrying my creepy old guy, guy No more skeletons, they're gone. And then Lydia says, I do. And then Beetlejuice is like, ah, and he comes to life. But he's starting to feel all kinds of human emotions, like like happiness and sadness and anger because he doesn't know how to deal with his sadness because society teaches men to repress their emotions. So he's just going to kill everyone. And he's like, I am angry. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna murder. And then Lydia stabs him. She like impales him and he was dead again. So they're gonna send him to the netherworld to draw, they make a chalk door in the wall. But once they get to the door to another world, inside the the door is actually is Juno, who is not on this thing. Oh my God! It's Juno! Like <gasps> she comes out of the door, and then BJ Beetlejuice is like, "Mom!" And she's trying to get Lydia back to go to the Netherworld because you know once you're there, you can't come back. 
And then Beetle's just like, no, I'm not going to let you do that. I learned a lot in my two minutes of life, and I'm not going to let you take her life away from her. And, and Juno's like, oh, Lawrence, that was beautiful. Maybe I've been all wrong about you, and I'll have to admit I haven't always been a good mother, but that's only because I wish you were never born. And then she, like, sends him off. He, like, smacks him. And he's like, oh, I was tricked by the power of love. And everyone around Lydia is trying to protect her. He's like, you can't take her back because they love her. And then Beetlejuice comes back and he's like, remember the sandworm? Remember, remember the sandworm? That was a, um, that was the foreshadowing. The swarm that eats Juno, okay? So both the swarm and Juno. Oh, I'm coming up. And Beetlejuice is like, hey, you know what? I learned a lot through this whole ordeal. And I think it's time for me to move on and find my dad or something. And I'm going to miss all of you. And he name drops everyone. But especially you, Lydia, because we've bonded and we have become friends. And he's like, goodbye, cruel world! And all of his um little ham disciples, they pick him up. He leaves. That's goodbye to Beetlejuice. And, you know, that's... Now it's just them in this house together, and they learned a lot, and their home is back to normal, and... This has been a strange and unusual day. And then Lydia's like, yeah, we did kill someone, though. And they're like, yeah, but we killed someone together! And Adam and Barbara, do you mind that we share this house? I'm like, yes, I'm sorry, it's such a mess. And Delia's like, I'm so happy for all of you. I guess I'll just go. And then Lydia's like, Delia, wait, I want you to stay. And Delia's like, sucks, yes! This is the happiest day of my life! And then they play it on a song while they're cleaning. It's like, hey, your mother used to love this song. Shake, 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 Sonora, shake your body line. Shake, 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 Sonora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sonora, work your body line. Work, 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 Sonora, work it all the time. My girl named Sonora, I tell you friends I adore. And when she dances, oh brother, she's a hurricane and all kinds of weather. Jump in the line, rock your body in time, okay? I believe you, jump in the line, rock your body in time, okay? I believe you. Shake, Sonora, wow. Shake, shake, you know Work, 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 Sonora. She's being levitated right now. Mission, this is what I left behind Every day Usual and you will find Our homeless mansion Well I mention Our mansion Oh I know My 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 Come and walk home Everyone is still here, and then it's curtain call, and wow, yay, thank you everyone for coming to the curtain call. And then we bow, everyone bows, you know, and everyone starts flossing in line. know that my PC has been operating at 100% this entire time because I have five instances of YouTube Studio open. Five 
five VTube studios are open for this because you see everyone is out here with their own outfits and I didn't want to do a toggle. I wanted them to have their own outfits. There's five open. And my PC doesn't like that. And OBS has been kind of struggling halfway too. Yeah, I don't know how my PC is not crashing either. The hamsters are working overtime currently. It sure is moving along. But thank you everyone for joining me. I had so much fun. I'm happy I was able to do Beetlejuice. I really love this musical. This musical has been on my mind aggressively so much. And thank you everyone for coming, spending time with me, watching this musical for the first time or watching it again, but my version, you know, you know, and I will upload this to YouTube. Thank you for gifting us up to Beetlejuice, whoever that could possibly be. Thank you, June Coon Cone. June Cone? June Cone for the fallout. SpongeBob musical way. <laughs> I have to watch the musical first before I move into action. I watched Beetlejuice like three times in the past month, and then I listened to the soundtrack on repeat. I am not surprised. I will not be surprised if by the end of the year, my Spotify wrapped is I am the top 0.01% of listeners of Beetlejuice soundtrack. That would be very believable. But I am glad everyone had a good time for the, the things that I set up. It was pretty chaotic trying to do everything while I was singing. You know, it's like when you're planning it in your head, you plan for it at one time speed. And you're like, yeah, I could do this at one time speed. But then it happens at two times speed. And you're like, I actually have to start hustling. I'm start, going to start bussing, bussing, bussing. Anyways, before I end stream, before I raid someone and end stream, um, I will let you know what's happening. Tomorrow I may possibly, um, I might stream tomorrow. It's a big, hard maybe, okay? So don't plan for a stream. I would like to play Neon White if I am streaming, but no promises because I do have to clean my room. I have to get ready for Manchi who's coming on Wednesday. Yeah, I can finally raid Fumi. And then, um, after that, I want to have streams with Manchi who is in this chat right now. Me and Manchi will have streams together, but they're not going to be very long streams. But I do think that we are going to Pokemon Smash or Pass and um, a Spicy Noodle Challenge at least. So, two streams planned at least with Manchi here. It'll be fun. In real life collab streams. So that's what we have planned for the rest of the week, but not Wednesday, Thursday. We are booked. Friday is a raid night with Manchi in the background. You know, Saturday, Sunday could potentially be the days that we stream. But, spicy noodle, you don't know anything about Manchi, she thought pepper was spicy when I put pepper on fries once. She has worked on her spice tolerance, but we are both gonna die. But Manchi once thought pepper was spicy. And I think that's funny. You think, oh, like a pepper pepper, no, black pepper. Crushed black pepper that you get from a salt and pepper shaker at a fast food chain. Instead of, you know, like crushed, like ground black pepper, no. It's black pepper you get from a pepper shaker at a fast food place. That's not, that's not spicy. <laughs> White behavior. You wanna take that, Manchi? Well, Manchi's just trying her best, yeah. So yeah, soda's a little spicy. It's like when the bubbles of the soda get on your tongue, you're like, ah, it's a little spicy. Okay, I'm gonna raid Banshee. I'm also gonna close some of these YouTube studios. So they're gonna disappear. And we're gonna leave the main cast on. Cause my computer is not like this. Safety first for spicy noodles. I'm hoping me and Manchi don't die. It'll be very, very sad if we do die. You know, it would be sad if we died. Raid Fumiko Hoshi. Yay, I get to raid Fumi for once. Thank you everyone for joining me. I'll see you. See you when me and Wachi decide to stream together. Thank you all for joining. Woo, 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 woo. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Woo. Fumi cum own a whole she. That is the Fumi cum. The Fumi cum own a whole. You may call her that. Have a good night, everyone. Take care of yourselves.